hello guys welcome to my youtube channel in this video i'll be showing you how to insert any footage in the green screen something like this so let's get started so guys i have a standard 1080p footage so first what we will be doing is we will be uh, tracking this area as you could see there are track markers in this footage so it will be easy for us to track so guys i'll be using a 2d track method in order to track this footage i will insert a tracker node after inserting the tracker node so you can add tracks either in here or you can just click this button and you can uh, just click anywhere on the screen to track so before tracking i would like to show you some tools so which is this area like how many frames you would like to track either you want to track forward or backward or uh, how much range you would like to track so all these things can be found here we have a footage of 100 frames if i want to track 100 frames from 1 to 100 so what i will do is i'll go to range and uh, select from 1 to 100 and i will track it so there is a step here which means for example if it tracks the first frame so it will track plus one that is the second frame then plus one three then plus one four and that's how it goes if i do give it a step two what it will do is if i track first frame it will skip the second one and it will go to three for example one plus two three then three plus two five that is how it goes so usually you can give it a default value of one if you want to track every single frame so i do want to track it every single frame so i'm going to give it a one so as i have enabled this button so what i will be doing is i will click here it will create a track i will expand this pattern area and the search area something like this so guys if you want to adjust just one side of it you can hold ctrl and uh, click and drag anywhere else so for me this looks fine so what i will be doing is i will be going to range and i will be giving 100 frames and click ok so guys the tracking part for track one has been done i would like to also continue for the other tracks so for example in case of tracking it doesn't have to uh, start with the first frame every single time you can start with any frames but make sure that the particular frame which you are selecting is quite visible as is a simple footage i took for demonstration any frame is clearly visible so guys you can start tracking in any frame you want it doesn't have to be the first frame or last frame something like this for example let's uh, say i take a hundredth frame and uh, i will try tracking on this hundredth frame so i will increase this search area and i will increase this pattern area as i have to track from 100 to 1 so the tracking part should go reverse that means i have to select this portion that is a range from 100 to 1 if i click this there's an option from 100 to 1 you can also give 50 or up to which frame you would like to track so i'll give it 1 and i will click ok So guys, now you can see we have two tracks. So I will also be adding some other tracks. So I think I'm gonna skip it. So guys, the tracking part is done for the four tracks. And if you look at the properties there, uh, you can see this translation, rotation and scale. So as you can clearly see in this footage that we do not have any rotation or scaling. So it is better to keep it disabled. As we do need the translation, I will only be enabling the translation part here. So I'll select all these four tracks and what I will do is I will export a node which will be match move. So there is two options which is uh, transform match move and transform big so this baked comes as an independent node and uh, the normal one comes with the connected one so that is the only difference so once i click create so we'll be getting this transform match mode node. if it is not baked so you'll be getting something like this with pipe so that is the only difference so what we will be doing is we do got the tracker data 
so which is this match mono so what we have to do is we have to replace an, another footage an image or a video on this screen so taking this green screen out for this footage is not that much of a complex thing so but the main part is this track markers which is present in this footage so we have to remove this and then remove the green screen so that it will be easy for us in replacement so in order to remove these track markers we have to use a roto paint node so i will just arrange this after adding this roto paint node uh, what i will be doing is i'll go to the first frame and uh, i will paint this out so all we have to do is remove the markers in the screen so i'll take this clone tool and start painting it out as this is a simple process i think i'm gonna skip it so guys i have done the painting work so as you could see so the paint is done only on frame one and not in the rest of the frames so in order to make this frames work on every single frame so what i'll be doing is i'll be adding a frame hole node and uh, i will be giving it as frame one so that uh, the entire sequence is now on hold so then what i'll be doing is i'll be adding a roto node and uh, so i'll select this bezier option and i'll be rotoing this out so guys the roto which i have created i have only done it on the first frame i will not be animating to 100 frames the reason is because we already have a tracking data here we could just connect the pipe here to animate this roto node so what i will be doing is i will pre multiply it to rgba so that we could only view the roto area and what i'll be doing is i'll be adding the match move node so now if we play we can only see the screen which is animating as per the footage so now what all we have to do is we have to just merge it with the actual footage and uh, i will add a merge node as this should be on foreground i'll be connecting this to a pipe and uh, the sequence footage should be on background i will be connecting this to b pipe i'll be leaving this operation to over because that is what we need right now and uh, now if you could see the tracking marks are gone but if you do zoom a little bit you could clearly see the roto area so what i'll be doing is i'll be turning on the auto alpha so this should remove something but also there is also another problem here which is the feather for this roto which we have just created so what i will do is i will select this base here and i will feather it out a little bit so guys you can see the track markers and the edges are totally cleared so we could move on to the next step so which is keying so i will add a node which is key light as this is a simple green screen removal concept, I will not be going in detail about what key light is and what are its features. But don't worry guys, I'll be making a separate video of it. So what we have to do is we have to select this green color and remove it. So I'll be selecting this green color. I will control click and drag. So we could see this uh, mat here. So in order to remove that, I'll be using clip black. So with this clip black, we have removed this green screen. So we can check this by going into alpha channel. So as we could see, it has uh, done a very good job. So what we have to do is we just have to add an another sequence in the screen. I have this uh, same 1080p footage, which is just a, a random guy texting. I will copy this match move node and I will paste it here. So now you can see the animation of the phone screen applying on this footage. So in order to do the replacement, what I'll be doing is I will add a transform node and uh, scale it down something like this. And uh, I will add a merge node. 
so guys i'll be adding a merge node and uh, connect this i'm connecting this to background as of now uh, to check where this footage is visible in the sequence so the footage is placed here i'll be selecting the transform node and uh, i'll be moving somewhere like this so as we could not see what is going on background so what i'll be doing is i'll be adding a multiply node so that uh, we could lower the opacity of the sequence so for me this looks fine i don't need this multiply node anymore so i'll delete this so guys uh, we could see the video has been perfectly placed so now what all we have to do is just switch the pipes of this merge so what i will do is i'll select this merge and uh, give shift x which will replace this pipes and uh, if we play this footage we could see the tracker node has done a very good job in match moving so if you just zoom it in here so in some cases the pixels on the foreground might not match with the pixels on the background so in that case you can just add a blur node and uh, you could give how much blur you would like to give it in this case 4 might do well so if you want you can also grade it and uh, color correct it in the way you would like to do so guys the process is almost complete we could see that the extra layer of the bounding box in this video so we have to also fix that in order to do that so there is a node called as copy bounding box a pipe is uh, like from where the bounding box has to be copied and uh, the b pipe is in which bounding box it has to be placed so let me also arrange this so now we could see the bounding box problem has also been erased as this bounding box has been copied here so guys that's all for this video hope you have learned something new please do like this video and subscribe to my channel peace